yeah, I don't know about you guys. I just like to throw wrenches randomly in a box, you know. That way it's super easy to find what you need. Morning everybody, welcome back to Mid-10. Today is another beautiful overcast day, but you know, it is what it is. So on today's rundown, well yesterday, we got the dump truck all service ready to go. Plugs, wires, oil changed, new bed racks, it's all greased, even washed it. Semi, we got oil filters, uh, we greased it all, washed it. Uh, only thing doing a semi, I found out the two front tires have really bad dry rot in the tread, so I got them ordered. They'll be here in a couple days, get them changed. But today, we got to put a new condenser in the big tractor in the, four, in the 4755. Oh, I think y'all missed it, but I blew or got a pinhole in the hydraulic condenser or hydraulic cooler on the way from spraying army worms so i had to put an oil in on the side of the road just to get back home so what i did was order a new one and actually the company i got it from got it changed got it exchanged on under their warranty so the one i put in which is in the tractor right now has a hole in the ac unit so don't have any ac in it right now but i'm gonna keep it as a spare i got the new one in the back of the truck over there as y'all as y'all saw a while ago so we're gonna change that but first things first we're going to gas up the ac system on the on the semi that way it's cool so we're gonna get to get to doing that right now So I'm gonna get this picked up. We'll go over and start working on the big tractor. I'll catch up with you. Back at the big tractor. So, got a new condenser. And I get the side panel popped off. And you can still see where my radiator's full of oil, so uh, it's pretty grimy in there. So once we get this O one out, I'll pull over to the old hose pipe with a can of degreaser and we'll get it sprayed off. Oh, and this works better as a two man job, but I was done with my work this morning pretty early, so it's going to be a one man job this, this today. Well, there's a hole there I stepped in. Got to take these bolts off on either side. I already got my latches undone in the front. And so I want to say those are 9 6 tanks. So, uh, got the old truck toolbox here with an assortment, with an assortment of, uh, tools and, uh, yeah, I don't know about you guys. I just like to throw wrenches randomly in the box, you know. That way it's super easy to find what you need. <laughs> super easy. Super easy. Oh, there it is, 9 16. Here's a little fun fact. Here's all the antlers. There's three antlers. That's the antlers I picked up this year out in the field. I do need to get 
out of the junk out of the floorboard of this tractor, as you can see, I found a chain out in the field this year. Found some antlers. Always finding junk out in the field. So you got that. Got to climb up here. Got to pull this ring off. Get back on. Razor cap off. You gotta pull that back here off. Now I can fight this hood off. I'll set y'all over here where you can see better. Pull these bolts right here. And this condenser is uh, on a track system. So once I get the bolts out of it, we can slide it that way and take the hoses off. Push. Other side. There. All right, so now I've got to take hydraulic line off, hydraulic line off, and then take these two AC lines off. Now, I don't have to worry about the AC, about catching my Freon, or on, well, it's actually 134. Yeah, that is Freon. I ain't got to worry about catching that because I didn't put nothing back in it. Out with the old and in with the new. So I got everything off here. I'm gonna do some checking to make sure. Well, like there's some junk on this radiator that won't wash out. Get my scraper and scrape that off. Too much paint on it, that's what it is. Too much paint. Well, there it is. So, uh, if you've seen that thing hiss off, if you've seen that thing hiss off, what it is, is they pull a vacuum on these to make sure they don't have any leaks before they ship them. So you gotta be careful tighten these lines up because you don't want to bend them. And we, this one, and uh, keep all these plugs and you put them back in your old one because I'm going to keep it open for a spare. Never know when I'll need it again. All right. She's all back together.
So, uh, got the, got the uh, new condenser put in. Turn the bug. New condenser put in. Got lines tight. AC. Hydraulic. Got the bolts put back in. So we'll set the hood back down. Put the hood back down. Put my breather back on. Put all my caps back on. Alright, next thing to do. Since uh, I put brand new, this is a hydraulic oil slash AC condenser. So I got my vacuum pump, got my gauges hooked up. So I'm going to pull a vacuum on it, that way I can recharge it. So I'll flip the pump on here, so I can find an on switch on it. Where is that switch at? There it is. All right. And so my gauges are closed. And so if you open them up, you'll see this thing go down, negative, up the high side up too. You want to pull down, it's on negative 10 now, so you want to pull, well it's 10 pounds of vacuum, so you want to pull 20, 30 pounds. So I'll have to let that run about 20 minutes to get the right vacuum on it, at least 20. We'll check it, run it 20, shut it off for 10, let it sit and make sure that the vacuum doesn't come off. As long as the vacuum stays, we'll know we're good to start putting Freon in it. We'll have to put a little bit of, oil, a little bit of AC oil and then Freon. So I'll finish tightening stuff up and uh, we'll get back with y'all when we're charging the AC system. Until then. truck service this morning and got over here worked on the combine had to charge batteries up in this thing so I didn't get any footage of it but it's finally charged up when I'm done so I'll be heading back home now and uh, hope y'all had a good day I had a pretty productive day myself so good lord's willing we'll catch you on the flip side